So over here you can see a form. It's not edit editable right now, but what I can do with Adobe Acrobat Pro DC is make it interactive quite easily by using the form widget. So let me just edit this out, edit this PDF out. So if you want to actually add in something over here, you can simply add it in. Let's say for example, I'm going to add in a text tool right here and I'm going to say state your opinion. All right, so I'm going to uh, say this. I'm going to add in an underline statement just like this and make some changes to this. So I haven't added any interactive element to this manually. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro handle it for me. So let me close this form. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the tools section right here. And over here, you can see an option to prepare form. So I'm going to click on this. And once I do that, you can see that I can select the file. So you can also uh, keep a scan document. It also works uh, with that, but I'm going to select a file. So I'm going to select the same file that I saved. So that's saved as the name right here. So I'm going to open this out. Here, you can see that if the document requires signature, I can actually click here, but right now it does not. So I'm just going to keep everything as it is. And over here, you can see this option called form fill uh, auto detection is on. So I can change it into off but I'm just going to leave everything as it is and I'm going to press start. Once I do that, now you can see the magic. So what it did was it uh, actually figured out what uh, each of the form fields were. So the document is now interactive. So now if anyone sees the document, they can actually type um, uh, in the names right here. So I can type in something like YouTube, just like this. I can add in the phone number, add in the A's right here, and even the date of birth, just like this. So you have an automatic form, as you can see, and even got this check mark, as you can see right there. So if someone has to add in information and you want uh, automatic form, uh, interactive form detection, then you can use the form widget easily and then make the form like this. We're also going to see how to manually make form in future lessons. So. Uh, you can see that making a form is quite easy by using the automatic form widget. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.